an old Dearborn brush hog I picked up. What the problem was is the uh, gearbox shaft broke off on it. But it's in pretty good shape. The deck's in good shape. One little spot to weld. And the skid plates need fixed up a little bit. But I think I can make it a nice machine. Five foot brush hog. See what kind of goodies we got here. Brand new gearbox. There we go. Well, here's the shaft that broke off. Everything's totally different on the new when it has a tapered spline so uh, I'm going to have to make a new one of these and weld this on it no sense trying to cannibalize this one I'll just take a piece of uh, 3 quarter by 4 or something like that and weld this on to it in the new bar that holds the blades it goes on to the gearbox so I have to bore this out to this size I weld it onto here now I have another bar it's going to go out and the blades will attach to it so I'm going to get started on that We finished boring a knot. Got about 4,000 clearance. This is my 1917 20 inch flather lathe. I believe it was the Cadillac of its day. See how heavy the castings are? It's been a great lathe. My dad picked it up in 1972. For $130. Well, you have to use the materials you have. I have some uh, stainless steel three quarter by four flat bar. That's what I'm going to use for the uh, bar for the blade. Some of these people on YouTube crack me up. I look at their shop. I don't see a chip even on the floor in the corner looks like they polish their machines and they never use them but uh, you can see this shop is used I use this all the time to make things all right got this piece made so this fits in here another piece will go over top of this and weld everything up. This is my 1916 Camelback drill press. It weighs 750 pounds. We're drilling an inch and an eighth hole for those bolts right there that are going to hold the blades. Okay, my son's the welder. 
you got this thing all welded up real nice got the blade sharpened got new bolts this thing's ready to go okay I've been working on this got it all stripped down I got a place here where I have to replace the skid angle this was bowed in it got hit I got that straightened out this was bust bent out I got this straightened out same on the other side so I'm gonna start fabbing a couple of these pieces here and start welding up and then start cleaning it up Man. well I would usually work on this brush hog in the garage but it's February and I have my 67 GTO all winterized in there and I'm not pulling it out probably till May so I guess do it in the backyard we have a 55 degree day day today and I got all this angle put on finished up welded on both sides so this is ready to go I'm gonna start cleaning this thing up and paint it I'm gonna turn it over and clean the underside of it and then we'll get the top done we'll put the gearbox on and we'll put it back together well I've been working on this most of the day I uh, took the brush hog off the trailer flipped it up on its end and I spent the last couple of hours with a couple grinders grinding the underside of it and I put a coat of rust inhibitive primer on it so things are going pretty well it's a 70 degree day in February so I had to take advantage of it well we got another nice day I painted this with some oil base dark gray that I had and I'll let it dry a couple days flip it back on the trailer and start on the top all right it's all cleaned and primed I got some oil based blue I'm gonna put on it that was the original color it is Dearborn brush hog okay I got the first coat of blue on I'll put a second coat on let it dry and then start putting the angles on and the gearbox well I got the brush hog finished brand new gearbox installed new slip clutch newer slip clutch installed PTO shaft is included with this Okay, first time under power on the tractor. Smooth. New gearbox. Too bad there's nothing to cut. It's middle of April, nothing's grown yet. That's a wicked blade. Gearbox is smooth, no vibration. 